What is going on everybody? It is Aaron Cates and welcome back to the channel. Now I actually started this video like a month and a half ago and then a lot of other stuff happened and I was unable to finish it and now we're going to be finishing it today but I'm going to be kind of picking it up in the middle so if I still have any of the clips as most likely I probably ended up deleting them. If I still have any of them I will throw them up throughout this video and hopefully you know you guys can follow along a little bit but I'm gonna be moving in about three weeks. And I mean, fortunately and unfortunately, there's some pros and cons to where I'm moving. Uh, one of the greatest cons, there is gonna be a garage. Uh, not really either one of my trucks are gonna fit in it, but for incident, like instances when I'm painting, I'll be able to do it indoors instead of out here in the driveway. But one of the bad parts about it is it's a lot closer to neighbors. So you guys know I've got one neighbor way over here i mean not like super far but they're next to my house and then on this side i have an empty field and then it's woods in front of my house so i mean the truck being loud isn't really a big deal it doesn't really bother a lot of people i don't start it late at night i don't really drive it so i mean it's not really a problem but where i'm moving there's a lot more neighbors a lot more close people and i don't want to be that person that's not that obnoxious truck that all the neighbors hate so i did buy a muffler for the ford you guys know if you've been following this channel for only just a couple of months we've got long tube headers true dual straights that's all it is uh two inch or two and a half inch pipe all the way through true duals long tube headers i mean it is really loud it's one of the loudest trucks i've probably ever heard it is very 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 loud now the kit that's on here uh, was meant for a different style truck. It wasn't it wasn't designed for an 85. It was actually designed for a late 70s model F-150 and I kind of just made it work. And with making it work, um, it wasn't it wasn't perfect. Uh, the exhaust actually stuck out on this passenger side over here underneath the frame and I wasn't happy with it. Now I hope I still have some old clips of how it was before. Okay, so up underneath the truck, you guys can kind of get a better idea of what I'm talking about. See how this kind of has to bend down because it has to fit underneath this pipe right here, but then it hits the radius arm bracket, which pushes it down even more. So what I'm gonna try and do today is kind of cut out, uh, start like right about here, cut a couple inches out. I kind of want to run this this pipe over here on this side of this pipe but then we run into hitting the drivetrain um but i do want to rotate this pipe over to hit this little arch right here that's going to tuck it up more on this side give us more room to bring this over here and i really i just want to try and get it up up higher and more tucked away underneath the truck but before it used to come out, if we can get the camera to brighten up, there we go. It used to come out kind of like right where this plate is. It came out right here and it actually went past the frame and then came back in underneath the frame. But I really didn't like it because you could see it from outside of the truck. You could be standing back here and see it plain as day. Now you can still see the exhaust pipe under there, but that's just because of the long tube headers. Where the collector comes together on the bottom of the headers is actually lower than the frame. So, I mean, there's not really much you can do about it. I mean, just standing here, you can you can see the headers themselves sticking underneath the frame. So, I mean, there's not really much I can do about hiding all of the pipe. If I took it to an actual exhaust shop with a pipe bender and everything, they could hide a lot more than I can. But in when I started this video a month and a half, two months ago, however long ago it was, I, I took the pipe that was pushed all the way out, I cut it and I tacked it all together and I got it moved up underneath the frame some. Today, my whole plan is, I've got this thrush dual in, dual out muffler. We're gonna be welding that on and we're gonna try and weld the pipe all the way out the back. Originally when I did the exhaust video, uh, a lot of you guys have seen that. The video's got quite a few views already and I'm very thankful for that. Uh, we had the exhaust pipes come out the bottom back here behind the tires. Now that is still the plan. Um, Hopefully I can get the pipe to, to go the way I want. When I originally put the exhaust on this truck, I didn't have a welder and it was a full bolt together kit. And I kinda cut some stuff, 
used some exhaust clamps and got it similar to the way I wanted it, but it was never perfect. Hopefully after today, it is a lot better than what it was. I still don't think it's gonna be perfect. If I had a pipe bender and I could get everything, the exact bends that I wanted, it would be better, but I, I don't think that's gonna happen. So I'm just gonna try and get it as good as I can. If worse comes to worse and I get the, the muffler on there, I might just do a side side exit right here if it'll be easier. I Honestly, I would like the duels out the back, but to be completely honest, guys, I don't feel like fighting pipe all day. I mean, doing this stuff without a pipe bender, it's a lot of, you're doing a lot of pie cuts and welding together and stuff's not fun. That takes a lot of time. You got a lot of gaps to fill welding, uses a lot of wire. And to be completely honest, I don't feel like doing all of that. I'd rather just get the muffler on there and get it, get it functional. Like I, I want to, I would just want to have it sound better. So enough rambling on i've already talked for three four minutes already so i apologize i'm gonna start the truck so you guys can hear how it is now and then we're gonna pull some pipe off get everything welded together uh, i'm gonna try and work underneath the truck get everything kind of how i want it can't do a lot of that on camera because one you guys can't really see underneath the truck it's way too dark and two i don't really have a place i can put the camera and me underneath the truck so I'm going to get everything tacked up underneath the truck, pull it out. I'll show you guys me welding it all together, and that'll be it. But first, let's get a start for you guys. Uh, it is a cold start. It's in the 50s outside right now. Hasn't been started since yesterday. So it's going to be a nice, genuine cold start for you guys. Okay, we're not finished, but I do have the muffler tacked in. I've got all the pieces coming up and got it tacked in. Wasn't the easiest thing. I had to do a couple cuts and heat it up and bend some pipe and kind of finagle the muffler on, but it is on there. Welds aren't the prettiest thing. Um, definitely does not look like a weld shop did it. If a welding shop did this type of work, uh, they don't need to be in business, but I'm still undecided if I'm going to connect these pipes here to it and run it out the back or what I'm going to do. But now is a good time to start the truck and hear how it sounds with the muffler on. And then if we, if we enjoy the sound, weld everything up and call it a day. Well, I must say it is definitely, definitely a lot quieter than what it was. I mean, you guys can hear me talking right now. I'm still on the talk pretty loud. It is still a very loud truck, uh, but it is definitely a million times better than what it was. And a lot of that will tone down once I fill a lot of those exhaust leaks. All the exhaust is just tacked right now. There's not a single bead around anything. So I still have to tack all of that up. And, oh yeah. I still have to weld all of it up and I'm very undecided what I want to do. I want to take the easy route and just do side, ex side exit exhaust and just do it straight out the side right here. I just want to, I want to take the easy route. I can't even lie. I just want to throw some 90 degrees on that muffler and bring it out right here. And I don't think it would look bad, but then like the other part of me wants to do it out the back, but like, I feel like that's way too much work. And honestly, I think I'm just going to go with the out the side just because it's going to be honestly a lot easier. Um, I don't feel like sitting out here and welding a bunch of stuff on. And the biggest thing that I know is not going to be fun is when it comes time after I've welded it all to put it back in the truck. That's not going to be easy by myself. And you guys know I do this stuff by myself. So I think I'm just going to do the side, side exit that way. I don't have to fight all the pipe to get everything back in there. I can just put it back in, tighten everything down, go about my life. 
I don't have to fight everything. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a million times quieter. I mean, it doesn't have a super like deep throaty tone. Uh, I, I read a lot of reviews on this muffler. I can't lie, this is one of the cheapest ones off Amazon that's name brand. I didn't want to buy some Chinese junk muffler. But I, I read a lot of reviews that said it had a deep throaty set, uh, like sound to it. I mean, honestly, I think my Flowmaster sounds better than this. So I, I originally had a thrush on this truck back when I was 16 and I didn't like it then and I should have trusted my gut and not gotten it again, but it, it's doing its purpose. It toned, toned down the truck, which is why I bought it. So I'm gonna finish getting everything tacked up, throw you guys up a little time lapse of me welding it all together, get it back in the truck and see the, the final result. I get it done, but you should know that Shine like a son of 101, you should know that I get the front and in the back, you should know that No need to stun, it's never cap, you should know that All I know, ten toes, never fold Bane roll, on the go Ice hole, ice hole, ice hole Came for my wins, I need my hands This life is real, life is real. Well, isn't it just great how, how life works? Everything right here is welded I have a little pass right there I have to connect that and I was done and I'm out of wire so it's just gonna go on with uh, that like that that's the bottom of the muffler so I mean at least once I get more wire I can lay underneath it and do it uh, I don't like laying underneath and welding just because you get covered in crap now if I ever see any of you guys in person and the Ford is there. If you guys get up underneath of it and look at the welds, which I do not advise, you guys are gonna laugh at me because these are the worst welds I've ever done in my life. I did a lot of areas where I had to fill a about a quarter inch hole. I mean, there were some areas that was probably bigger than a quarter inch. I mean, I, I cut an angled pipe and just stuck it together and I, I know how to fill holes, but doing it with this, I don't wanna say the welder because I mean, a lot of it's my fault too, but some of it is this welder it just spitting and sputtering and not able to get a good solid area so i show you guys my flaws look at this crap oh my god that looks terrible now and then there's there's areas like this where it's a good weld on there i mean you guys, you guys can see the wire i'm not hiding anything from you broke that off i mean it's not perfect it's not perfect at all but i guarantee there's not gonna be a leak up to that muffler because I mean it is completely welded if you look at areas like this you see how much higher the pipe is right there I completely filled that gap same goes for right there there's a gap there a lot of these areas aren't gonna be perfect I mean I don't have a pipe bender so everything I did was was by hand and I mean I'm happy with it and that, that's really all that matters so Sun is setting I'm gonna get this back in the truck and hopefully we don't have too bad of an exhaust leak right there but i gotta let this cool down some because it is way too hot to handle and uh pick you guys up once it's in the truck it'll probably be dark but i mean light doesn't affect how something sounds all right everything's in this is our first sound with it completely welded up all except for at the rear where i showed you guys of course but everything's bolted up and in there the only thing it doesn't have is an exhaust hanger so let's see Sounds a hundred times better than what it did before. I mean, don't get me wrong, you guys watch this channel. If you've been following me for a while, when I did the exhaust, I was like, I wanna do something loud, obnoxious. I wanna piss people off with it. And I mean, I, I completely achieved that. The only problem was, is being that I'm moving, um, I'm still renting. Uh, I, I wanna buy a house, 
it's not it's not in my, it's not in the ballpark for me right now so i i can't decide that my truck can be that loud because if i piss off the neighbors and i piss off the landlord or the realtor company anything like that i'm out of a house so i mean if it comes to me putting a muffler on my truck just just to you know keep my neighbors happy i'm 110 percent gonna do that and until i own my own home and i can do whatever the hell i want i kind of have to you know abide by the people around me so it's not a muffler on it it's a thousand times quieter it's still louder than the chevy in my opinion uh i wish i could get some rolling shots for you guys but as you can tell i don't have any wheels and tires on the ford i actually had uh gotten some just cheap tires from work. I worked for the county. We picked tires up off the side of the road. So these tires were dumped and I found some for the spare rims, but one of them aired up fine. The other one had a puncture in the sidewall that I couldn't tell without it having air in it. So I got this close to getting you guys some uh, some sound shots while, while it was driving, but that'll have to be in the next video. I apologize. But if you guys made it this far, make sure you go down, hit that like button. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Guys, this content doesn't cost you anything, but it does cost me, and I don't really make a lot of money off YouTube. So if you're feeling generous and you like the videos, hit the subscribe button. I mean, it doesn't cost you anything, and I upload all the time. I'm not just somebody that's gonna post once a month. So hit that subscribe button, guys. Go check out merch store top link in the description i don't really say that in a lot of videos so if you guys want to go check it out we got a couple different designs on the website but i'll catch you guys in the next one see ya